everybody. I got something special for you today. I'm, uh, I'm going to do my very first knife unboxing and review. Uh, some of you may know that I love knives. Uh, others of you will learn as we go on that they're, uh, they're a passion of mine. I collect them. And uh, I'd like to, you know, share it with you guys. I, uh, you know, uh, how much more manly can you get than a love of uh, handheld weapons? So, yeah, so I'm going to start doing, uh, I'm going to start doing some nice reviews and I figured I'd start out with this one. Uh, this is a Civivi. Civivi is probably my favorite knife brand. Um, I love these guys' knives. I own several of them. Um, and this is the, uh, this is the Banneret. Uh, B-A-N-N-E-R-E-T. Banneret, Banneret. I'm not quite sure how to say that, but, uh, I love this knife. I can't wait to share it with you guys and uh, see what you think about it. Uh, yeah, so uh, this knife is a uh, 7.9 inches overall. It's got a 3.48 inch blade. Um, it's a Nitro V steel blade, which is uh, very well known for hardness and uh, its stainless abilities. It doesn't corrode very easily. Uh, it's pretty high end steel. It's a it's a pretty good one. And uh, yeah, it's got the black G10 handles with stainless and it's $155 Canadian at House of Knives and it's $94 American at Knife Center. So yeah, without further ado, let's break this thing open, see what it looks like. So right there, um, I really, really love the way Civivi packages their knives. What you get with them there, you just get kind of like this high end, uh, this high end, uh, feeling out of it I mean like look at this look at this right this is the case that comes with it this is the the case for holding the knife I absolutely love these you get these with every Civivi knife and uh, yeah just super high quality uh, once again get a little sticker there Civivi puts a little sticker in with their knives your product use and warranty information a little cloth a little Civivi cloth for cleaning your knife. This is uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so this is the inside of, oh, another sticker, another sticker with the little knife. And the inside of the case is actually lined with uh, this kind of like soft material. Uh, very, very nice. Like you feel like you're getting something quality with these guys. And their knives always, always move so nice. Like when they open, like, Oh, look at this thing. Isn't that gorgeous? I love Civivi knives. That's that black G10 handle with the stainless. And then, let's all over that. That's just smooth. So smooth. Uh, it's, so it's got this style. It's actually part of the, uh, the style locker is actually part of the uh, handle itself. And you just flip it out and yeah, they've just, they've got such a nice, such a nice feel to them on those, uh, these Beyond Ball bearings and just, uh, yeah, I mean, take a look at that thing. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Now I will say it doesn't have as positive of a stop when it's opening as other Civivi knives that I've had. This one almost feels kind of soft. Uh, that might work out with time. It just kind of, or it might just be the way this one works yeah this is uh slightly different from other Civivi knives i've purchased i will uh one day i'll bring my whole knife collection out and i'll show you guys um i mean yeah that click that click when it goes in i mean it's it feels you know quality still uh, it's not quite as solid as I would usually expect out of a Civivi knife. Probably just the design of this knife itself compared to the design of the other Civivi knives that I own. Um, and I mean, it still feels like, like that is, there's nothing to that. That thing, that thing just rolls. It just, uh, the way it comes to a stop, it's a little, it's a little soft. I mean, when you push the blade it's yeah you get a more of a like when you actually give it a little bit of force you do get a little bit of a click there but that's yeah, just uh i think it's just this knife design just this uh 
just the way this knife works. Uh, this is the first Sevilla I've ever had with a, with a stainless handle like this too. Usually they use a, you know, some other type of scales, uh, my Carter G10 or something like that. This is a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, and as it's working in, it gets a little, it's getting a little better. But the actual ease of use, like that thing is so pottery smooth. Like this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Uh, I think I'm gonna like this a lot. This is definitely gonna, definitely gonna go great in my collection. Um, this steel, like I said, very uh, resists corrosion very well. This uh, this Nitro V steel holds an edge very well. It's uh, it's very hard. This is a this is a higher end steel. Um, you know, it's about a mid pack range knife. You can, like I said, 155 Canadian, uh, 94 dollars American. You can definitely spend a lot more on a knife. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference though when you pick up a knife like this compared to uh, something that you pick up at Walmart, just cheapy, or something at like a gas station or something, 30, 40 bucks. Massive difference in quality. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know what you think of this. Uh, think of this baby in the comments. I mean, I think she's a beauty myself. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Quite happy. Yeah, I would uh, I would recommend this from what I've seen so far. This is a uh, this is a quality knife. And that look, I love that look, right? Just look at this is like a gentleman's knife. That right there. That's just uh it, it's kind of it's kind of almost got that classy look to it, but you know it's still built utilitarian. Uh, but this does look, you know, it feels, it looks and it feels like something special in your hand. You know, I love that. I would uh I would recommend this knife from what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing is, she's a, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. If you uh, if you want to check her out, like I said, you can get a Knife Center, $94. Uh, House of Knives in Canada, $155 Canadian because our dollar just isn't worth as much as everybody else's or as the American dollar. So, yeah, she's got a nice motion to her. Nice motion to her. I do love this thing. All right, let me know what you guys think of my first knife review. Let me see, let me know if you think I missed anything that I should have talked about. Uh, this will be an ongoing thing, so uh, yeah, give me some feedback. Uh, make sure I'm uh, doing these videos upright for you. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you checking out this, uh, this video, and I uh, look forward to bringing you more knives and showing you my collection somewhere further down the road. All right, I love you guys. Take care.